Well, hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Uncle Wooly here for part 12 of Elden Ring. Hobo Baggins. GG's on first, dude. G heckin' G. Strufty, you're going to have to be quicker next time. <laughs> Strufty, good to see you. Uh, if anybody's lurking, good to see you as well. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. Hopefully you're having an awesome week so far. Jose, thank you for that resub at 11 months. My goodness. Thank you very, very much for that. How was the rest of Resident Evil 5 uh, last night? I was kind of near sleep, and so unfortunately I couldn't hang out as near as much as I wanted to. Um, but how how far did you guys get? I guess I haven't played the game, so I have no idea how to <laughs> gauge things. But uh, watching you and you and Danson play was a lot of fun. <laughs> Didn't finish. That's all right. That just means you got more game played. Getting frustrated because the boss fights are oh they go on so long, and it looked like um, the inventory system is maybe a bit frustrating um that's the one thing i've heard like resident evil zero is frustrating with so i can understand that other games where you can co-op or you have to switch characters and whatnot might be a little bit uh rough <laughs> or they give you too many items and of course you don't want to give up any ammo or healing but you know survival horror type stuff you gotta right uh tonight's stream beer is uh, one from Warpigs Brewing called Sword of Orion, and it's a Munich-style Helles lager. And it says, Destiny is a double-edged sword. And look at this. It's got basically Orion here fighting this pretty wicked-looking scorpion. Just awesome art on these cans from, uh, from Warpigs. Huge fan of their work. Um... <laughs> Thank you for the beer. Yeah. Um, the other one I want to try this week, and we'll probably have it on stream tomorrow night because I did get one of their sampler packs. They did have a Cave of Wonder uh, Fest beer um, that I wanted to try, but I had to uh, grab something that was near the top of the pack because uh, I didn't want to, you know, pull all the cans out of the 12 pack. So this is uh, what we end up with tonight. <laughs> Sometimes it is uh, the laziness that wins out. We'll give you some puppies while I get this uh, thing filled up and get a picture posted to the Discord. And Lucy's in the room. She's just being very elusive. We did catch her chewing on a turkey bone earlier tonight. So, you know, she's probably just uh, mad at me still. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the meme where there's like the... It looks like it's pulled from like a biblical illustration or something where the guy is holding out open the mouth of a lion. And it's like uh, when you catch your dog chewing something and it starts chewing faster, you know, that's kind of like what it was like. <laughs> Try to get your nuggies. No, not the nuggies. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't give them like legit animal bones because we don't want it, uh, you know breaking and having the shards go into their little little puppy bellies is not good Lucy is our, our our resident shredder and chewer of things, so she likes to find stuff to, you know, chew on. Oh, I'm getting double mic, aren't I? Let me fix that. I saw the levels bouncing twice, and I knew what it was because uh, when we did the movie night in the Discord, I changed my mic settings over. And forgot to change them back before stream tonight. So obviously uh, it was going to be an issue. <laughs> so if anybody was wondering what that was, yeah. Or if you could hear it. Let's see here. Brew, wine, and drink. Get this thing posted. Good night. <laughs> 
Delilah. Welcome in, Delilah. Good to see you. Good to see you. I have officially beat both Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on Proud. Both had an absolutely um, absurd boss that made me want to give up. Dude, can we get some hearts in chat? And GG's as well for Strupty. All the Kingdom of Hearts for Strupty. GG's, dude. GG's. <laughs> And uh, for those wondering, uh, Resident Evil Death Island, interesting film. It was fun, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be watching it like a ton of times in a row. But uh, it was fun. It's good for at least a single viewing, uh, just like the uh, the animated miniseries that uh, had Leon in it. I think both of those are definitely serviceable. So if you're looking for a little bit of a Resident Evil fix, they're on uh, Netflix, I think. I think so. Is a what's a a a, a bolter? Both the both of them? I don't know. <laughs> now, now you're going to make me self-conscious on the way I say things. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is fine. Welcome in, Danson. How are you doing? How's your Monday? Hopefully uh, you guys were able to sleep after uh, dealing with the frustrations of uh, Resident Evil 5. Midwest things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big cheers, everybody. This is the Sword of Orion uh, Helle Slogger from War Pigs Brewing. Ooh, that's pleasant. That's pleasant. Okay. And this is in no way an offense to uh, craft breweries, um, but I just feel like lagers from a lot of the craft beer makers can be uh, pretty overrated. Uh, but this one is worth it seriously um that's got a lot of flavor to it that is nice that actually has more flavor than i was expecting from a uh from a lager that is quite nice <laughs> yeah never had one you liked um you might want to start with lagers um from like craft breweries um and then that might be something that would kind of launch you into the other ones um any of the like the low ibu might be what you like um bud light or something because that's what it, yeah you know what you're gonna get uh something low on the ibus it doesn't have a ton of bitterness to it um because that's what ibu stands for is international bitterness units so that can uh the higher those are if you're not really adjusted to them they can definitely uh, throw you for a loop uh, it took me a number of years of trying like IPAs and stuff to uh, come around to them. Eat ones that are so flavored it doesn't taste like beer. Yeah, good like sours and stuff. So excited today because we had the first session of our new D&D &D campaign. It was really fun. My character ended up being a bit more of an than I had expected, but the rest of the group liked it. So there's that. Hey, that's fun. <laughs> A Kolsch from a brewery, also very solid recommendation, Wimpy. Yeah, so if you're looking on the lager side, um, lagers are good. But if you're looking on the ale side, a Kolsch or a cream ale is a really good um, way to go on the ale side of things. Oh, and Shiner's awesome too, yeah. Shiner makes good stuff. And you're like right on their doorstep, right? Or at least uh, fairly close, so... You're getting it a lot fresher than we do up north here. <laughs> Wimpy, how are you doing, dude? Happy Monday. Uh, Elden Ring. That's what we're playing tonight, right? And again, uh, Jose, thank you very, very much for that resub. I'll give you one of these Twitch official shout outs. Uh, and also, Jose, thank you for the recommendation for the uh, um, Carl Casey music, because I've been really digging on that. I've been really digging the Carl Casey stuff. Because <laughs> I'm hyped for Elden Ring. 
Um, so I don't have the bosses that I defeated uh, on Saturday night on here yet. Um, but you can use the command ER bosses. Uh, I need to change out that emote in there, but at least it'll show you, give you an idea of how many bosses I have completed. Yeah, the Carl Casey stuff is awesome. Big fan of, big fan of that. Uh, and this is what my map uh, currently looks like. I think we took down um, Loretta, and then we did a couple of Everjails on uh, on Saturday. Uh, yeah, we did the Royal Grave Everjail, and then we came back and we did this uh, the Stormhill um, Crucible Night Everjail. So that's kind of where we've been so far. What I wanted to do... I'm trying to remember where he said he was going. Yeah, Crucible Night, a lot more fun at this point in the game. <laughs> when you first start the game, not so fun. I'm guessing that's probably an Ever Jail on top of there. Any of these spots that kind of look like circles. Kind of maybe want to go check that out. Probably another one up here, too. Oh, it's the wind in the game. I'm like, what is that sound? Looks like there's maybe an Everjail over here, too. Yeah, maybe a couple. You know what? I kind of want to check that out. I want to go take a peek. Take a little bit of a, a look-see here. Take a small detour to find the lake that goes to a river under a bridge. Fun little side content, okay? I will, uh... Lake, river, bridge. I'll, uh, see what I can, uh, find there, Wimpy. Same font for a heart rate tracker. Uh, should add the heart. Uh, yep. Uh, when I first added it, uh, I had a lot of people asking me what it was for. And yeah. So um, what I also did, I don't know if you streamer bot, Jose, um, but you can have it activate uh, uh, triggers um, on things and it integrates with Pulsoid. So I also have the heart icon change colors um, because the heart icon is just something I put in OBS. And then I just have filters to change the color of it. Um, looks like I can't really go the way I want for that at the time being. So, yeah, I'm going to... All right, Wimpy. And it's already on my map, you say? Lake, river, bridge. Oh, streamer bot's awesome. Love streamer bot. I think I already did this bit, if this is the part you're talking about. That's probably not it. But maybe. Oh, maybe it's down here. Yeah, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Uh, all right. That's that way. We need to be going basically kind of a little bit north and a little bit east. Okay. We'll aboard our trusty steed torrent. Dragon Burnt Ruins. Well, this makes me feel definitely not safe. OK. 
Come on, dudes. Let me know on uh, audio if it's too loud, too quiet. Otherwise, I can adjust that. Actually, I think I might need more in my headphones. <laughs> Oh, I have very obnoxious hats. Um, I think that's part of being a, a guy, I think, is you got to have at least one or two hats that your wife absolutely despises. I need a little bit more of the gameplay in my headphones. Um, or did I just turn down my overall headphone volume? Here we go. The taller the hat, the closer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. See what's down here. Ooh, rats. A lot of them. All about providing the funnest experience. Well, let's definitely check this out first. Oh. Well, that's nice. We've been ensnared by something. get our treasure right away okay stop emoting and let's uh get down to business here let's get down to business okay this doesn't seem too bad i mean they survive one critical strike so that's not good Ooh, they're shooting stuff Not what you were talking about? Well, it's okay. You know me, I'm going to find the weird way to do stuff. Ow, dude. Rude. All right. I don't know what's shooting me, so let's go get this guy. Take care of these murder shrimp. Oh my lord, all these hands. All these arms. <laughs> oh yeah, I could see that. If you got to this part too early. Even this bit is kind of taxing. Oh boy. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get our first death of the night. Gotta give that death counter a good old workout. There are a lot of enemies down here. A lot of enemies. Strafty. <laughs> right away on the first death, too. It doesn't hurt any less. Shrefty, it's all for the best, isn't it? Whether it's the first death or the 500th of the night, it still hurts the same. Oh, 
Oh, gosh. I'll be uh, tracking on that. It's just awful. Can you come down? Do you have a minute to talk about the Elden of Rings? Wow. This is quite rude. Oh, no. Okay. I got my runes back. We're good. <laughs> that was going to be the big thing. You know what? I'm just going to leave them for now. Oh, come on, man. You're going to be like that. Oh, cool. In a little sight of grace, away from all of them. That is good. Rot grease. Rot grease, you say? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Red Sky at Night, Sailor's Delight, something like that. <laughs> Mattis Dog, welcome in, dude. How are you doing? Up late on a school night, I see. Smack him in the roots. There we go. Oh, I hate these guys. Especially the uh, crossbow version. Okay, I'm going to need to create some separation here. There we are. Ow. Ouchie. Just chilling after a long but productive day. Hey, that's some good news. Productive on a Monday. I'm proud of you, dude. Uh, I gave no such consent uh, to them, but I don't think they care. There we go. Oh, hey, Panda. We can definitely get you a puppy treat. Let me... Uh... Let's clear out this this other guy here. We'll get some uh, some treat action for you. Um, the most productive I've been on a Monday in my entire life was probably when I was born because I was born on a Monday. <laughs> hey, Taika, good to see you. It has been a while. Welcome in. It is really good to see. You. Hopefully, you're doing well. Ouch. That hurt. Okay. I think I'm relatively safe now. We can definitely get that puppy treat. If it's any consolation, I slept through half of it. But the half that I was awake for was productive. I would laugh if it was the other way around. That somehow you were a master of productivity in your sleep. Because that would be a uh, you know, pretty big flex. 
Can't sleep because I took a long nap. Oh, I hear you there. I'm the same way. If I take a long nap, I'm done for. I can't sleep that night. <laughs> so hopefully uh, we can help you out with that. Uh, Panda, do you want the zombie bites or the pumpkin spice treats for the puppy dogs? Half hour late today because I was enjoying a long run and no longer have any uh, to give. <laughs> um, pumpkin spice, we can do that. And if anybody's got puppy dogs, um, I know these are available at least in the U.S. Uh, these pumpkin spice treats, um, they have various flavors, but they're soft, which is good for our little doggos. And for old dogs like Roxy with uh, bad teeth. Which is nice because I should sleep. <laughs> well, if, if it helps put you to sleep, I am A-OK -okay with that. I am just fine with lurking if it means uh, people are curing their uh, insomnia. By all means. <laughs> By all means. Uh, all right. Uh, we do have an ad in progress here, so we'll wait till the ad is done to do our puppy treat. Uh, fall Halloween clearance stuff. Um, bought Super Mario RPG and started organizing the decor. Very nice. Yeah, we need to get our uh, Christmas stuff out later this week. Uh, I am basically the Grinch until Black Friday, and then I become uh, Mr. Christmas. Uh, so, yeah. And we go into full swing with the uh, Lord of the Rings marathon. At Thanksgiving. So we've been, we started with Rings of Power since all that's out. We started Rings of Power um, on a second playthrough or second watch rather uh, on Sunday. And then uh, we aim to finish that and start uh, the Hobbit uh, movies on Wednesday night. And we do all of the extended, all six, uh, six films. Okay. Ready? Thank you for not moving the camera. <laughs> and uh, the newest addition, Charlie, he, at the start of stream, will not come up the stairs. So I usually have to get him later on, Taika. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't need her to show on the stream. But Lucy is very much uh, yeah. go off sometimes. <laughs> Panda, thanks for the beer. Tonight, we're sipping on the Sword of Orion. It is a Munich-style Helle Slager from uh, War Pigs Brewing. And I'll show you the can art on this one. It's pretty cool. It's a uh, Orion fighting a big old scorpion. And I'm here for it. And Lucy got her chew toy. She's actually chewing on stuff she's supposed to. Good girl, Luce. Did you find your moose? <laughs> Loose and her moose. You found it. Can you make it speak? Can you make it speak? Can you give it a squeak? No, you just want to cuddle with it? Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But uh, I'll give you some Charlie and emote form here. Uh, Taika. Here's old Charlie, at least in the emote form. But uh, Panda, thank you very much for the treat. Puppies, did you say thank you? Did you say thank you to Panda? <laughs> yeah, big cheers. Welcome in. Good to see you. I saw something shiny down here on the right, so I'm going to go check that out. Lana. Danger. Lana. Danger me. Lana. Danger. Lana! <laughs> what? Danger zone. Welcome in, Danger me. How are you doing? Happy Monday. Hopefully you had a good weekend. 
I know I saw a lot of you on on Saturday, but outside of uh, outside of that, hopefully you're doing well. And thank you to those that joined and uh, hung out most of the day, or uh, joined for a little bit, or even uh, just have supported the channel over the last uh, two and a half years. You have my sincere, sincere thanks, because uh, it was a lot of fun, and it's been and continues to be a lot of fun here on Twitch. Finally feeling better. That is good news. That is good news. I do have fun over on YouTube as well, but... Uh, we're on Twitch tonight, so... Uh, this looks dangerous. Yep, yep. That's a big nope fest from me. No, get back here, you healthy dung beetle, you. Ooh, that was three charges. Very nice. Um, I mean, I'm trying to ride around, but I don't know if uh, riding on this helps or not. And uh, I would prefer to kind of find out some of that stuff on my own. I do appreciate the help, but... Uh, <laughs> um, well, that ex exploration is, seems to be on the side burner for now, LMB, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. little guys like to uh, give me a tough time here. Oh, that's building up quickly. I need to get out of there. It's usually damage. Uh, and sometimes I accidentally click the left stick, which uh, kicks me out the horse too. <laughs> I know that's a problem I face is I accidentally sneak a lot and I accidentally jump off the horse a lot because I'm a little click happy with the uh, left stick because I panic. Oh, he's not dead yet? Or is it the little ones putting out that? Jeez, can you stop with the stinky perfume here? Oh, poise breaking? Yeah. Oh, I didn't kill him. Interesting. I'm curious too, so this I don't consider like a spoiler or, or anything, is when I try to uh, revive Torrent um, after he, you know, I've been knocked off Torrent, or Torrent's been uh, knocked out. Is I have to do a menu thing. Is there a way to do that without a menu? That you can just press square and it'll call. Um, is that a, a setting in here? Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm not...
Yeah, so I have this uh, down here, right? But if I'm knocked off of him or her, I don't know what torrent is. Um, then when I press it again, I have to go through a menu to get torrent back, which I don't like. I feel like when you're in the heat of battle, it's kind of a pain. Oh, we don't want to be poisoned. I am no good at the uh, mounted combat. Alright, there's somebody else shooting. Oh, there's two. Come on, aim the right way. Oh no, not what I wanted. His suffering sustains me. Oh, Mattist. You're too much. Yeah, dual status effect is uh, very much no bueno territory. I was sad as well. I was kind of like half lurking, so I didn't catch spoilers uh, from Alan Wake 2, but it was a lot of fun. And I know Hobo has been hanging out here tonight, so he might be, might be doing the old lurky lurk. Or you might have to say his name three times. You know, if we go Hobo Baggins, 69. Hobo Baggins, 69. Hobo Baggins, 69. You know, maybe he'll just, like, show up. He did get first, after all. Ooh, we got some new headwear. And some garb. Ooh, we gotta throw on this new drip. We gotta throw this new drip on. Uh, let's see here. It's Traveler, right? An associate of a healer, he is said to be in search of new aromatics and flower gardens in hopes of treating misbegotten, omen, and all those seen as un or impure. Okay. So, perfumer's garb and the gloves. Are where? Traveler's gloves. And. The slops, too. Oh, yeah. That is nice. Full with over 300 Minecraft worlds dating back to 2020. Well, I mean, if there's any reason to have. Uh, things lock up like that. That's a solid reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than, say, you know, Hobo having 500 playthrough saves of some game like, you know, Hello Kitty Adventure Island. It's much better than that being the case. There was only 269 saves. Okay. Still a nice number. But you can't delete those. I mean, those are all probably speedruns that uh, he needs to get verified. Ooh, we got a golden rune out of that. Very nice. And a meteorite staff. Even though we're not much for spellcasting. That's A-OK. -okay. Oh, you know what? Let's just uh, 
not with that. Hobo sitting in his basement blasting out Creed and not coming up for dinner out of protest. <laughs> Creed and Nickelback just blasting while he plays Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Didn't Hello Kitty also have a racing game too? See, I'm scared. This is way too much of an open area. I'm scared. Can you take me higher? <laughs> oh, what? Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Oh, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I, ran I got invaded. Okay. Bang! Try to shoot him in the back. But I don't want so good either. By Millicent. Oh, there they are. Oh, come on now. Yay. Oh. Come on. What a jerk. What a huge jerk. Yeah. How did we end up like this? Well, let's ride out to meet that head on again, I guess. What is that all about? Those footsteps of something? on tracking it for now. <laughs> this beer I had this evening with dinner, a uh, whole liter in a single can. If anybody knows the conversion on ounces, because a typical 12 ounce beer is like what, 375 milliliters? So that's like basically like a 36 ounce beer. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty beer. It's a pretty hefty brew. Yeah, 34 ounces. Yeah, I was, I was uh, semi-close. It's in the ballpark. And what we should do is we should level up with this uh, amount of runes here before we get too crazy. Can I teleport back? Ooh, there's a... Uh... Doesn't look like I can teleport. get back and level up with these runes <laughs> just to have that as an actual uh metal vessel a thick tube of uh, what kind of beer was it maddest oh that's not the way i go this is the wrong spot oh what oh it just kind of stunned me is all 
What kind of beer was it? Some brand I've never heard of. I think it's just called Axe. Do you know like the style of beer that it was? Or just like a lager or... Pale Ale. Nondescript. <laughs> Thing's getting killed by something. No, it was something else getting killed by it, I think. They had a 10% version that I uh, couldn't be balls with as I was having it with dinner. Well, I would say that's all the more reason to get the one with the uh, high ABV. Because you're having some food with it. It'll help soak, uh, soak that thing up. Looks like a Pilsner. Okay. So I'm guessing the 10% was either a different style of beer or it was uh, like a barrel-aged version or probably something like that. Just trying to think how it would be the same same make of beer but, but different. Uh, we're going to do one more on the Vigor. And I think that's going to get us pretty close to the same level as our Endurance or at least close enough. And then I think I want to start throwing into decks again. Because we're going basically full dex build on this one. Nice. Take that. Sometimes mounted combat is not bad. Okay, so these look like if they hit torrent is where torrent kind of falls down. I hate these dragonfly mosquitoes. They're awful. It reminded me of uh, legit mosquitoes where we're at. They're about the same size too. Dragonfly. But like a real dragon <laughs> that flies. Ooh. He's probably got Ashes of War. Oh, no. He goes explode. And he did have Ashes of War, though. Didn't expect him to blow up. But that's all right. Took some of those with him. Torrent, where you at? There we are. Ooh, somber smithing stone four. We need a five. Is what we need. Oh boy. Oh boy, that guy's got a little faster move set than this uh, this other guy that's just spam throwing at me. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, one down. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about this.
Nice. Ooh, we got one of their swords, too. Cool. Maybe I should see... Okay, if we go south... And get a map marker. Uh, this place looks quite charming. All these dead folk. Ooh, side of grace. I see you. I see you. Tonight, Maddest, I'm not sure if I mentioned this since you've been here, but uh, it is sort of Orion. Um, uh, it's a Hellace Lager from uh, War Pigs Brewing is what we're sipping on tonight. And it's a tasty little lager. Like, it's, uh, it's going pretty quickly, which I need to be careful about. And I do have coming up too. Uh, we did it last year, and I was excited at the opportunity to do it again. Um, I did get the advent calendar from Brewdog uh, Brewing, so we will be doing the uh, social media takeover of beer. So it'll basically be a beer a day uh, from December first through uh, Christmas. So. Look at that map filling in quite nicely. By no setting. Oh, well, he's not one for words. It's all right. Uh, let's get the key again and uh, also get the uh, cookbook. Oh, dude, do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. In <laughs> um, this one, I know shipped from the uh, the Ohio location in the states, but I would I would love to visit the uh, the flagship brewery at some point. And if it wasn't as expensive to ship things, I would totally. Uh... Oh, can I actually make the fire grease now? I can't. That's all right. Yeah, if it wasn't so expensive to order some, I would totally drink Punk IPA all the time. Went there last year with Shadow and Cacti and hoping to again with them and Katie. Do it. <laughs> that would be a fun time. If I'm ever in the neighborhood, I'm definitely going to definitely going to do that. All right, we have a dragon, so uh how about a prediction here? How about a channel point prediction? There we are. There we are. If you want to throw some channel points in, if you think I'll get on first try, uh, two through five, six through 10, or 11 plus, we do have a channel point prediction now open for the next couple minutes here. And Maddest. I'm pretty sure that's you that threw in on uh, 6 through 10 because uh, it has that hallmark, uh, you know, it's just a, a noise amount of channel points there. <laughs> and we'll give you some puppies while we wait for the uh, prediction to round out here. So now is your time to get your channel points in on this prediction. If you want to win big and take those points off of Maddest's hands or help him take other people's points. Based on how many tries it takes me on this boss. Roxy, you're a good girl. Oh, Lucy, puppy dog. Yeah, I'm kind of torn between like the dog beds up here because of how they like sit with the door and the whole like area. I would love to just have one big one that filled that entire area, but then it's difficult to get the, the door open. So it's kind of like that catch 22. 
But then it's nice to have the little ones in case, you know, what happened on, on Saturday happens where there's an accident. At least you have, you know, a little one to, to wash and manage instead of a big dog bed. So it's a pet owner issues for sure. So the prediction is coming to a close here. If you want to get your points in, now's the time to do so. We're going to ride into battle. Oh boy. Decaying Exikes. Oh boy. He's rotting us. Oof. Oh, missed his head. That's too bad. Yep. <laughs> That's the tough part on these dragons. Tani, welcome in. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, the uh, rot is not good. Uh, so that is the decaying X Sykes is our boss. We're now going to be on attempt number two. And I'm getting the impression that this needs to be done from a mount. I'm getting that impression. Hopefully we can get our uh, runes back. Oh, nice. Oh boy, Torrent uh, did not fare too well from that. Oh, no, Torrent. It was the rot. It was the rot that did it. See this menu that pops up here. If I get rid of that menu, that would be super nice. Here we go. Oh, nope. Not good. Not good. Heal? Nope. <laughs> and we made a dent. This one's going to be a, a tough one. But you were unsuccessful? No. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> This feels like um, this feels like the uh, it might just be maddest. I don't know if it's maddest one. I can change Whatever it to maddest it one. To put yeah. wave after wave of men at your disposal, right, men? <laughs> you suck. Yep. But this feels like a harder version of the uh, the glintstone dragon. Because uh, we had a tough time with that one, too. Should I just go right for the runes? Do I risk it for the runes? Oh. 
Oh, so he definitely kicks up a ton of uh, rot when he's doing that stomp. I need to be very wary of that. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting one to have to contend with. That film the other week and was fuming at the TV. Oh, yeah. Anytime I see that film. Yeah, she's definitely, the, as Strufty would say, one of the toughest of hangs. Dolores, Dolores Umbridge. Strupty took a gamble on first try, and Strupty, I do appreciate that, dude. some rod action going there. Okay, so either I need to turn tail and run like that, or I need to... Uh... Oh, what? No, I didn't mean to do that. Or I need to get close to him, but either way, I can't just stay put. Ooh, there's runes. Oh, come on now. some bleed that's super nice oh no stay away from that holy cow that cloud is ridiculous okay stay away from it wasted opportunity. Come on, just hit him. <laughs> oh boy, that was close. Need to give myself some uh, time to get some stamina back here. Green. We've got this. Nope, missed him. weird stuff happening with uh, like the wind and the audio in this. Oh, get out of there. Oof. That was close. Yeah. 
There's some more bleed. Oof. All right, I just had to learn how to fight dragons again. And it helps if I actually hit him. Oh, no. Bad idea. Yep. Should have waited. <laughs> I think we got it on the next couple tries. I think we've got it. We're on attempt five. Attempt five. Had I not been so hungry on that, because I kind of found, like, either way, I can run backward. And I should actually do that. But it's really going to depend on where my stamina is at at any given moment when he flies up. We got it, though. It's okay for macho men to show every emotion available right there, you know, because I've cried a thousand, cried a thousand times, times, I'm going to cry, cry some more. But <laughs> I've soared with the eagles, and I've slithered with the snakes, and I've been everywhere, everywhere in, between. in between. And I'm going to tell you something right now. There's one guarantee in life that there are no, no guarantees. No guarantees, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, mm -hmm. I understand this. <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes to Nobody said life was easy, so if you get knocked down, take the standing eight count, get back up, and fight, fight again. again. And you're a macho, and you're a macho mania. mania. Dig it. <laughs> Thank you, Mattis. It's okay to cry. Yeah, so we can go backwards, but we just have to be real quick about it. Get the bleed. Get out of there. Hobo, welcome back, dude. Yeah, we just need to stay away from that mess of Scarlet Rot. close <laughs> oh no nope. kicks up rot from that I'm not a fan of that man Poor torrent. Ooh, buddy. <laughs>
going to download Mortal Kombat 11 for a quick round or two, but it's 160 gigabytes. Yeah. <laughs> Great game, though. Great game, though. Definitely worth it. Breaking out some new moves. I don't like that. Ooh, okay. we are <laughs> that's a way to do it <laughs> new draconic uh powers awaiting at the so cathedral of dragon communion giving me longest road and a sweet 10 points for the win a booyah booyah strufty and maddest um i've denied you <laughs> Just one attempt shy, dude. That one's got to hurt. <laughs> hurt right in the old channel points. Because that one was close. Because <laughs> he almost did it, too. He did the uh, swipe down, and had he landed on me, I would have been done. I would have been done for. But he missed, and I'm grateful. <laughs> so let us rest and uh, we have some leveling up to do which I want to throw into decks and I think we have some golden runes we can use but I need to resolve this prediction soil myself and then go to bed <laughs> oh no <laughs> don't you dare make me feel bad about that don't you dare <laughs> We were fantasizing about you blaring out Creed and Nickelback from the basement after you found out why your Xbox was so full. Yep. Like refusing to come up for dinner or say goodnight to the kids. <laughs> Just chain smoking and sculling warm cans and listening to Creed and Nickelback. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so that was two through five. Anybody who had uh, that is their prediction. You won some good points from Mattis Dog and 10... Ten little points from Strufty. <laughs> Would never be bothered with that dragon or any of the hell area. Uh, balls to that. <laughs> yeah. That piercing throat clear. Yeah. Want to show a hospital and then claim that there were bad... Oh, dude. Uh, that feels like too soon. That feels like too soon. Yeah, but we made it. We made it. <laughs> so let's check out our great runes here. Or not great runes, but just golden runes. Yep. I should know better. I should know better than with you. Because then I'll just end up as another uh, point redeem on your channel. <laughs> that uh, four poemies has to listen to. Uh, let's do one more in Vigor. And that way the Vigor is going to be pretty close. 
to uh, our endurance. Right? Just the out of context woolly uh, reading maddest lines. Just character assassination. Oh, what is... Well, this is not good. Absolutely hate those things. Absolutely hate that. Miyazaki's version of Big Bird... If so, uh, remind me to stay away from uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> At least any Sesame Street that's in a Miyazaki game. Because my lord. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's a castle up there. We gotta go to the castle. I saw something glowing over here, though, that I want to check out. Oh, these are frightening, too. They're like a T-Rex dog. Oh, I stunned it too. No. Can you please just keep stunning each other? Because I can't panic roll for the rest of my life. Yep, Torrent. Get me out of there. <laughs> Hobo, thanks for the shout out to Mattis. Uh, this, this this is nightmare. This is nightmare fuel for sure. Oh no, not what I wanted. <laughs> Please uh, have a wonderful, wonderful night, Maddest. Uh, can we get some hearts for Maddest, please? Take care. I know you'll get some more channel points soon. <laughs> but have a wonderful night, dude. Always good to see you. There we go. Now we can maybe... Get one of these. Okay. We're still alive, so that counts for something. These things must be making Roxy nervous, or she's sensing my nervous energy because, uh,. She's, she's tapping around. <laughs> what? There's little things attacking me too? That is not cool. Alright, there's big boys still over here though. Maybe a potential other little boy? They are not good boys. Oh, we need to mark a win on that uh, boss, too. Uh, let me see if I can do that without dying. Can we do that without dying? By golly, we did. Nice. Sweet. First, my need to find the shiny things. But then there's nothing up here. Oh, it's the tree in the far distance that I was seeing. That's like way down there. Yeah, so that's going to be a nope. 
on that for now. What we need to do is see if we can get to this castle without dying. The stronghold over yonder. Oh, these things are uh, quite awful looking. The question is, do I stay in battle or do I... Uh As long as I got one at a time, that's not too terrible. Oh, yep, but then there's that. Oh, and then there's little ones. My goodness. Yeah, please attack each other. That would be super cool. Ooh. This is dangerous. Yeah, please fight each other. The stun, the stun on that is awful. Nope, I'm dead. I'm surely dead. Yeah. <laughs> so it might not be worth it. Fighting those might not be worth it. What I didn't do, though, is look at these new weapons. Uh, let's see. Claymore. It was... There was some type of sword I got that I haven't looked at yet. Unique curved sword notched like shark's teeth, a uh, weapon carried by corpse uh, pillagers who prowl the sites of old battles. The blade is tacky with blood and covered in hefty nicks, making it totally uneven. Life can be sinister indeed. Uh, that wasn't it. Clean Rot, that was the one. Piercing sword of Clean Rot knights who fought alongside uh, Melania, Blade Amicola. Uh, mainly used as a backup weapon in combination with a long-handled armament. And it's kind of a D for scaling on both uh, dex and uh, strength. Ooh, the Ice Rind Hatchet has C scaling on dex. Ooh. That might be viable. A hatchet with a frost-coated blade, one of several gifts given by Castle Soul in the distant north. Known as Freezing Fog, the blade is thought to be a dragon's scale. Inflicts a powerful frost. Ooh, cool. That's legit. That might be worth upgrading. I definitely want to get my runes and then uh, check out the... Uh, Oh, I forgot about this guy up here. You know what? We're just going to run for it. We're going to see if we can make it. Oh, not like that. Oh boy. 
This is bad, bad territory here. Ooh, side of grace, why not? Oh, they're all duking it out. No, I'm not going to rest quite yet. I'm going to see how much they fight each other and then go back. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, this is free runes. I like what's going on here. Whatever this was, whatever kind of T-Rex, dinosaur, wolf, war, turf war that's going on, I am totally down with it. We definitely have warring factions. But if those knights are taking them down, do I do I want to bother with that? <laughs> this is fun to watch this play out though. Uh, this burning wall here is pretty interesting. Nice little setup they got here. Oh boy. They're privy to my location. Watchtower. <laughs> see that coming oh they still got their ground troops uh doing doing the good work down there i'm just gonna let them continue oh hey fancy seeing you here Ooh, dude oh rude rude <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> 10,000 runes is nothing to sneeze at, so... We might need to ride back up there. Might be worth climbing this side if that other dude's just waiting right there. This other dude's in the middle. It was kind of foolish to go that way last time. Yeah, that was a much better way to go. Maybe. I mean, gonna be the one that saves me. But, uh, I 
can we... Uh... Nope, I wanted to use the ladder. <laughs> That's okay. We're alive. There we go. That's what I was hoping would happen, something like that. Is that they'd come down after me and I could funnel them. And I think there was one more dude up here. Oh yeah, he's just waiting back here in the corner. Alright, all of them are dead by the signifier of that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. What's the... Yeah, nothing up there. Oh, hey, there's a chest over here. Okay. I'm like, why would they build this if there was no reason? And I totally got a hero of time the joint just to, uh, you know, make sure they knew it was me. And also on this day, the uh, 25th anniversary of Ocarina of Time. So of course I had to do that. Give it the old hero of time treatment. I'm always wary of these, but uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. I can't believe 25 years it seems criminal. There's no way. <laughs> no way it's been that long since that game came out. All right, there's a side of grace up there. I can see the little wisps. Okay, not even giving me the option to go in there. I'm getting pretty concerned about how empty uh, this place is here. This is not instilling me with comfort. I think there's going to be something dangerous around these corners. I do like the frequency of uh, our Sights of Grace, though. That is uh, one thing that's nice about this being such a big game, is they're pretty frequent. So the boss runs and stuff don't feel as bad. Oh, I can't tell if those are enemies or if this is a boss arena. Oh, that's our, uh, that's Blythe. Hmm. Thought I might find you here. I must admit, I was a little worried. We missed our meeting. But it looks like you're still in one piece, eh? You must have heard by now, right? Could Starsker Dradan hold Rani's fate in stasis? But once he's out of the way, it'll spring back into motion. So now, we stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword, and fang. All right. Into the fray together, eh? Hmm. Let's see what you're made of. Into the fray together, eh? Hmm. Champions! Welcome! The stars of aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune! A celebration of war! The Radan Festival! Okay. Ah, if it isn't a tarnished warrior. I am the warrior Jar, 
Iron Fist Alexander. The pleasure is mine. Aww. No, for whom this festival is being held. Well, no. Nope. It is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. What a cool dude. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I. <laughs> Digging the music here, too. Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Yeah, ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Oh. Howling at the sky. Great voice acting, by the way. We must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! Oh, sweet. Definitely got to use that. Let's see. Um, oh, gestures. Yeah. Let's replace the, um, the rest with the, uh, with the heartening blow. Heartening cry. See what that looks like. Oh, come on now. Uh, I don't know if that was it. Thought it was a heartening blow. Eh, maybe that was it. Either one is cool, but uh, we'll do that one. So I'm guessing we'll be fighting that thing. So let's go ahead and throw up a prediction here. If you want to throw in some channel points on first try, two through five, six to ten, or eleven plus. Praise the message, then why well, can't try the door? But you know, it, it's a good try. Channel point prediction is open. Digging the chanting here, too, is really nice. Very pleasant. Oh, 
And we can't open that door for a shortcut. That's too bad. Okay, so I'm guessing this elevator takes me down to fight him. Let's see how our, our prediction is going. Got a little bit in 11 plus <laughs> and uh, some two through five. Got about one more minute to throw in your uh, channel points on the prediction. And just a reminder, too, this week, uh, we will not be... Um, Uh, streaming on Wednesday. Wednesday is DJ Wife's birthday, so we're going to be celebrating on Wednesday night. So uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow night instead with uh, On the Tide Tuesday with some more uh, Wind Waker. All right. Let's travel. Oh, there's some stuff here. Oh, summon signs. Those are summon signs. We don't summon. Oof. Non spear. That's nice. Oh, that move reminds me of um, um, what's his name? Uh, from Dark Souls Three. Oof. covers big ground in a hurry so maybe this is one where we do have to ride mounted um, why can't I think of the boss from uh, Anne Orlando in Dark Souls 3 one in the main church where you fight Ornstein and Smo I remember their names. Um, is it Aldrich? Yeah. This is a scenic battle, though. This is pretty cool. Oof. Oh, no. Okay, looks like we got a phase two on our hands. Oh, yay. What in the world? <laughs> Okay, that's not kind of torrent, but that one I need to jump over.
everybody. <laughs> That one just seems impossible to dodge. Oh, it's like he's got a horse underneath him, which is disturbing. Okay. Okay. This one's going to be fun. Star Scourge Radon. So Strupty, he is sort of riding the horse using gravity magic that he doesn't hurt the horse because it's his BFF. Okay. <laughs> Star Scourge Radon is our boss. This guy is where RL1 runs and for good. I could see why. Need to be known forever that I got this guy on second try. Take some of the edge off of my 80 attempt bosses. That's fair. <laughs> I understand that, but I uh, thought it was the use of gravity magic that made him defy gravity. <laughs> Wasn't just me who didn't notice the horse. I didn't notice the horse at first. Okay, this is a very proud husband moment. Um, and if she stops by stream, she's probably going to be angry at me. But I started showing uh, DJ Wife uh, some stuff on the piano last night because we're working on learning uh, the song Concerning Hobbits from the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. <laughs> and I can hear it just faintly over my headphones uh, that she's practicing down there. And it makes me very, very happy. Sir, I would like my runes. Oh boy. Yep. Strufty. Two attempts. You're insane. <laughs> Two attempts. Bonkers. I do need to get patient, though. And I wanted my runes, but now my runes don't matter, so... Is it possible to two-hand on a horse? No. So you need one to, uh, yeah. Fifty more times to not win, but that second attempt was magic. So you were panic rolling too. Glides around is kind of interesting. It makes me think he's out, like on roller skates or something, or, like ice skates. OK, 
Okay, this part is the fun part. Like, that bit is just ridiculous. Need out of that. That move, I hate. Absolutely hate that. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> I want to try this a few more times. And if we're not making like really good headway on him, I might kind of, you know, peace out and come back. Feels like that second phase is just awful. And did you fight him mounted or or just uh, on the ground struck him? Just stupid hard? Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Oh. I just feel like he's too fast to do it uh, on the ground. He's just got a belly full of scarlet rot. No wonder he's uh, not so happy. second phase now yep See, this bit I'm not enjoying is the second phase oh no oh bad timing there We lucked out. Poor Torrent, man. Like, dude, can you please stop? Got 
some hits on him again. it down and then he swipes there we go <laughs> and then we get one shotted <laughs> and we get one shotted so I'm guessing he might employ different tactics if we if we're on the ground versus on on the mount right stardust I agree <laughs> I agree. Um, and I have to ask, uh, you know, because you're usually hanging out over at Zen's place, um, did Zen get Lady Maria? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Not yet. Dang. I was hoping Zen would get it tonight. Uh, Zen is doing a BL4 run of Bloodborne. <laughs> Got to phase three a few times. That's great. That is excellent progress. Well, that was just... I don't know what that was. That was a little accident of an attempt. You know, after I got a couple hits on him on, on phase two, I got some renewed faith. Yeah, it seems like a lot of these bosses, if you're doing it RL1, you pretty much have to do hitless in order to get some of these. Couldn't get the uh, steed back in time. I hate that menuing. Is there a way to get rid of that? Like, if I'm pressing that button, of course I want to hop on the horse. Or do I just need to do square twice? Because that just seems stupid. Hey, bud. Hey, puppy dog. We'll do our lucky number attempt number seven and then I'm just thinking on like RL1 though, Scripty. Like it feels like some of these, like RL1, you'd have to do hitless or pretty close. Oh, geez. Wow. That was just a bad attempt. That was just a bad attempt. There's no changing the menuing for that. That's awful. That is bad. I'm sorry. That is one thing I will really. Uh... Oh, that's what you mean for RL1. Okay. 
Yeah, it just seems like uh, that is one of the worst things of this game. Uh, and they could have solved that through like a double square or something just so you confirm it. But yeah. Okay. That's fair. Tell you what, though, uh, I have a prancing dog that probably needs some bio break time. So we're going to take care of that. Grab yourself a refill, grab some snacks, and we'll be back in, in roughly roughly five minutes or so. So we'll see you real quick. Um, yeah. <laughs> Big cheers, everybody. See you soon. Two. My wow. Just wow. <laughs> and I to serve the hero Sephiroth our apples one day. <laughs> Genesis. All right, I've been clipping some screen recordings from this game for quotes, and I need the the wow, just wow. Is there anything <laughs> I can do? Yeah, I there's key. The one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. A smooth criminal. And Lucy's just laying over there. <laughs> she died too. <laughs> when did you die too? Oh, girly. She's like, I can't watch this. <laughs> this is so awful. <laughs> Want to help you so much with a little hint, but it's so fun to watch this. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. So I'm going to go back. I'm trying to think where I... Made me sticky. Oh, not what I want. Stop making me sticky. <laughs> That's what Lily's face looks like. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Your face is a triangle. He is. Yeah, I'm low polygon. <laughs> low polygon count wooly right now. Uh, those hips don't lie, Katie. Okay. I'm 100% sure that those hips of his don't lie. Is that correct? Am I mistaken? Is that uh, a bust of Lady D? Oh, no. It's uh, a bust of Lady D. I thought it was her for a second. Yes! Yes! Let's go! No way! Take that, Nameless King.
get a nice little back roll. I love how epic uh, this music is making her back roll. Yes, 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 100 times, a million times, as many times as I can say yes, absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to get him real close and then switch over to the hands of God. Um, Ravenbeak? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome on back. Hopefully you found yourselves a refill, some snacks, anything to make sure you're nice, comfy, and cozy. And uh, we're going to do some more attempts here on Old Radon. Old Man Radon, the Star Scourge himself. And Charlie is in the room, but he... Uh, He's just being a little camera shy. I'm sure he'll work up the nerve to go over to his cloud, but uh, for now he's enjoying the safety that is near my feet. And Stardust, um, I don't think I've properly greeted you. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Monday. It is good to see you. It is good to see you. That is true. He knows it. Oh boy. Oh, what am I doing? For a bit before bed? Hey. I feel you on the Monday thing. It wasn't too particularly stressful for me, but uh, I think I'm just really excited for uh, Lord of the Rings Marathon this week, so. <laughs> because I'm looking forward to uh, Thanksgiving and whatnot. It's kind of going by slow. So DJ Wife and I, we do uh, Lord of the Rings Marathon every uh, Thanksgiving. So we do all the Hobbit movies, all the Lord of the Rings movies, and uh, now we have Rings of Power uh, to add to it. So we started Rings of Power on Sunday, and I think we got two episodes left um, to finish out that. We've, we've watched it through once before, though. And then we'll start the Hobbit movies on Wednesday night. And they uh, we do extend it on all six all six movies, which uh, is quite a haul, but uh, just so wonderful. And there's so many great quotes that stick out over the years of watching it. And I kind of am a firm believer that if you really enjoy a piece of art, um, you should experience it multiple times throughout your lifetime. And with that being said, like at different points in your life to see if your opinions on it change, your viewpoints. They just feel like they take on different meanings at uh, different stages of life, which is pretty cool. I 
same goes for games, movies, books, TV shows. Oh, ouch. is fast. He's uh, got a lot of spears sticking out of him, too. Yep, that one. That's the one I know I can punish. See the oh, I hate that. Ooh, buddy. Drupti, you must have got like a really good read on him on your first attempt, because uh to get this on two attempts is just insane. this move. Oh, what? What? Oh.
like that he's got these things. Oh, wrong move again. Wrong button again. <laughs> That's parryable, but why? <laughs> why in the world would that be a parryable thing? that's fun. Yeah, this one's definitely going to be 11 plus. I have a feeling. <laughs> Unless I get really lucky in the next two. I suppose you're parrying him, but that just seems very strange. it at the edge of the map which causes him <laughs> I'm guessing that's probably been patched out by this point I bet they probably didn't even think you could do that Imagine somebody breaking your game like that, though. I mean, that's pretty cool. business there. Some of this just feels like you can't dodge it at all. I don't know how I got through that. That's fine.
pretty epic battle, though. Okay, that's just... I just got stun locked. <laughs> That's the trouble with this battle, it's just so long and grueling. I'm guessing that the people that are doing this RL1 are, you know, getting some good attack buffs or something that stun him or or something to keep him at bay. He's just ridiculous. For attempt number 11, so we are 11 plus at this point. <laughs> Strupty's definitely getting points. Emmy took over 150 attempts. That's crazy. That bit I don't get. How that's not dodgeable. <laughs> yeah. That's what I uh, was figuring you meant there, Shrupti. Um I am sad that she doesn't stream anymore. She was uh, very, very welcoming to people. Uh, and a very good uh, player of these games, that's for certain. Oh, don't get out of there. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Just insane. Let's give you your channel points back. That was definitely 11 plus territory. Sorry for those that had faith. Lucy, what are you chewing, dog? What are you chewing? Did you find a way to get through your toy that's unbreakable? <laughs> it's supposed to be unbreakable anyway. Lucy's like, unbreakable? I'll put that name to the test. You know what? Let's take um, our uh, lantern off of our quick menu. That way it's a little bit easier.
poor Torn getting hit by those arrows. Oh, those ones are just brutal. This is difficult to dodge. Maybe that's our go-to move here. That's doing some good damage. At least that pulls me out of the way of those. That's fair. Oh, geez. Get out of there. Yeah, switching between the two might prove to be pretty rough for me, though. Super bad. Yeah. That one is not safe to punish. Not safe to punish. That one is not safe at all. Oh, I really want to get this one tonight. A dragon kind of filled me with some high hopes of uh, <laughs> multiple bosses tonight. But of course, I had to meet one of the big story bosses that uh, mm, didn't give me a lot of grief. Oh, that's a bad dodge. I 
should know to do all the things I need to do before I ride in here because uh, it's a danger city. Those again, man. Seems like bad RNG. close, got too greedy. Oh boy, that was uh, interesting. Are you helping, Charlie? I hope so. Oh, that was lame. Star Scourge thing. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. And then there's that. <laughs> yeah, swapping between healing and torrent and all that, they're like, they're really making you learn a lot to this this battle. Hey Doc. Can you uh chill out a little bit? <laughs> I know I'm exuding like tons of anxious anxiety and all that type of energy into the room and I'm sorry. Let's uh let's give a little bit of puppy cam. 
can do that. I can give a little bit of puppy cam. I think there's something that's delaying the puppy cam, and I need to find out what it is. Okay, that was a good first little bit. wish it could just be a, a like a second press of square just to confirm it you know and the fact that you have to stop and use the d-pad too is uh, egregious Just stun lock. You can't even do anything. <laughs> I will have to say this is probably one of my least favorite bosses due to just some of the mechanics. And the problem is it still feels like it still feels fair. And that's the issue I have. But if I could get like a somber smithing stone five and get this up one more level, I think it would be very doable. I don't know if my weapon is supposed to be that high a level uh, by this point. Like one more level would be super nice. Uh, of course he would do that. Just have a wonderful, wonderful sleep. It has been really nice having you here tonight. Can we get some hearts in chat for Stardust, please? And uh, in case you're wondering, we are doing um, Wind Waker tomorrow night instead of Wednesday. Because uh, DJ Wife's birthday is on Wednesday. So just, uh, just to let you know. <laughs> but please take care. And Panda, thank you for the lurks, as always. Thank you for the lurk. One, two, three, big swipe and move in. See, this one's dangerous to punish because uh, sometimes he comes in with a different quick attack after that. Hey, thank you, Panda. I appreciate that. I'm going to need it. I feel like he enters that early part of second phase way too soon. be nice if he kind of waited. And 
that bit is just ridiculous. Can enter phase two soon. Yep. Oh, come on, wrong button. Got out of that. That's surprising. feel comfortable punishing that one. There we are. Quick. He has to bring those into play. Oh, he didn't summon the big rocks yet. Okay, there he is. Nope, nope. <laughs> Come on. The poise is insane. Maybe I need a... You know what I need to do? And I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. Typical woolly brain. 
I'm not uh, I'm not running, and I don't think my equipment load matters when I'm on torrent. So that being said, what's our best armor here? <laughs> Gives us six point seven. That's not bad. Yep, okay, that's our best town. 8. 8.8, 9.5, 12, 13, 13 it is. 3.2, 3.3, .3. all right. 3.4, 5, 5.4, 7.4, 7.7. .7. All right. And we're still on a medium load, so that's not too bad. Maybe that'll help out. <laughs> One could hope. One could hope. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, nice. Oh, I hate that. Oh, he's doing it again. Nope, we're good as dead. What? Wow. <laughs> I am shocked. Boom, boom, big one, swoop, and one and two. Yeah, that one is like iffy to punish because of that one swipe he does. like he would be susceptible to bleed if I could just get it to uh, rock faster. I'm just not attacking fast enough. Do the moves that I like. And it's not that move. Or that one.
soon, too soon. That was bad. Too soon. There we go. Oh. Okay. Now I'm just going to heal Torrent back up. He summons those right away. Oh, come on. but we came close. Oh, that would have been a good punish. Just navigating this phase is going to be the biggest bit. I hate that he summons those again. Those were basically one shot the last time they got me. seems like an on-the-ground dodge, but, uh... Kind of seems to run away whenever he wants to cast those. 
which is good. Yeah. Oh no. We've got this figured out now. here. Oh, hate that move. Don't get hungry. Don't get too hungry. That heart rate went up there, didn't it? <laughs> wow. Yes. Very shaky. That is cool. This game is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, wow. That's bright. Shrefty, thanks for the GGs, dude. A red mark was made on the map. Oh, so it must have been where that hit then. Which I don't know where it was at. That's okay. Let's go check all the um, items, unless we can't pick those up now. Uh, also hit our win. So 16 attempts. Still less than 20. Still less than uh, Fume Knight. So I'll take it. <laughs> what a rough boss, man. I think it's like a, a fair amount of RNG and a fair amount of uh, uh, the getting of the direction of good. So it looks like they're just spears everywhere. Maybe that's all those were. 
but I mean, how creepy is this to think that these are all of the fallen uh, soldiers that uh, Radon devoured? Here's Alexander, right? Ah, oh, hello there. Well, it was a battle marvelously fought. Oh. Ah, oh, hello there. It was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. <laughs> all it took to crack me and for my inside to come spilling out after that I, I hid like a coward and as Aww. such I can hardly stand to face one such as you <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet that's good as luck would have <laughs> it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors bodies right here if I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Ooh, who could expect that's creepy. Less from the very warriors who fought in the shattering, the greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> I like his attitude, though. Bodies found here are who could expect any less from them. <laughs> Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> oh, hey, there's uh, Blythe. Say hello to him. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? <laughs> the glory of the clash is shared by Radan and you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra, where Rani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Oh, so this is where we were supposed to go. Okay. Let's meet where the falling star bit and we'll go into battle again. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword and fang. The curtain's rising. On the final act. Let's meet where the fallen soon will go into my only purpose is the curtain's right. Okay. Let's get a nice little group photo here with that Erd tree in the background. And our good friend uh, Blythe. And let's uh, go ahead and do a nice little. <laughs> Nice. Wow. What a fight, man. Oh, we can level up a couple times. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's go 30 on Vigor. Even that out. Endurance uh, or Dex. Let's go Endurance. I know we just evened that out, but let's get Endurance up to 20 and then we can start dumping into decks again. Let's see, we wanna turn the HUD back on. Very important. Oh, I like how they have a return to entrance right here. That's nice. That is nice. Wow, this is getting cool. Uh, let's just do the run up here. I didn't know it was going to take me all the way back outside of the uh, castle grounds here. Because I didn't do too much exploring in this area.
Okay, it almost, uh, the way that tree was bouncing around, it almost looked like it was coming at me. I almost thought it was like a sentient tree. Like, if I'm gonna have to start fighting the Ents, uh, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Okay, I find it interesting that they let you warp inside, but if you come up here, you can't get in. It's kind of a strange bit. That fine line of falling between when you uh, when you die and when you don't die is is a tough one to judge as well. Okay, so you do have to warp in there. It's the right pain. Okay. I think I'm gonna die from falling off here. Not quite. No, oh, no, stop emoting. I suppose I could have just gone to that side of Grace. How dumb of me. Yeah, these things look pretty rough. I might die here. Oh, good heavens. Wrong time to heal, my dude. Oh, they strong. he would teleport back. <laughs> Let me just get the one. I just want the one single aggro, please. Just you, not your friend. have to get his friend.
some bleed right now. time please just you not your friend just want somber smithing stone five that's all i want that's all i want I'm guessing these probably respawn too oh no no no, no. <laughs> we're so close to victory now HP in a dream. A single drop of HP. And maybe two. But that was pretty close. <laughs> I don't even know if that served a single purpose. Oh, it might have some of those? All right. I'll have to check that out then. Okay, can't open that. Ooh, I do want that, though. I very much would like that. Oh, come on. Let's take a peek here. It said there's a red spot on the map. Uh, but I haven't looked underground, have I? No, still not seeing anything. It might have two of them. I think I only need one. But uh, uh, we could check that out. Maybe it's... Oh, there's a red spot right there. I just need to, you know... Open my eyes. Man, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes the uh, woolly brain is awfully strong and just overtakes any reason. Three levels away from the noise level. All right, we need to go northwest. Oh, 
Could it, you know, maybe be there? Oh boy. Okay. I do already have a six though. Is is the problem. invasion. I don't want to do that. Okay. Doesn't have what I want. Right. Let's see if there's a way down into this crater. There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nokron then. Go on. I'll catch up. Okay. This is cool. Ah, oh, this is so dang cool. I feel like I can't just jump in. But I feel like I might have to take a leap of faith. What's what's this message say? Ah, uh, do it. All right. Eat. <laughs> All right. That was worth a try. That was worth a try for the memes. All right. And the hardest part about living in this pit <laughs> is probably keeping my suit pressed. Yeah, that's a challenge. And the rats. Those two, Strepty. Those pesky rats. Okay. Don't like losing those runes. That's not nice. That's not nice. I think we were down to like 5,000 something, right? Ah, so that's who uh, that is. We finally met Blythe. Man, Welsh pronunciations are awfully strange. Um, is that the entrance to the... Oh, okay. And that's one thing I'm glad I didn't uh, spoil myself on um, before playing this game. I had no idea there was an underground. Okay, this looks like a better way to go. Yeah, I don't do off-stream grinding or anything, because uh, I think it was when I was working on Demon Souls, I asked people if they wanted me to do any of that off-stream, just because uh, I kind of felt like it might be boring for people to watch, um, but everyone that voted said, nah, a whole thing on stream, and so I've kind of taken it as that uh, thing that when I do a first playthrough, uh, the entire first playthrough is on stream. 
except for like Kingdom Hearts, uh, where I did some of the, you know, after the main game was completed, did some of the grinding, um, you know, to get ready for the super bosses off stream. see here Go around this way hopefully I don't die I always get nervous with some of these platforming sections soporific grease Akron eternal city Cool name, too. This feels like the uh, almost similar to the uh, Sunken City uh, DLC of uh, Dark Souls 2. Got some vibes like that for me. All right, we're fighting pudding. Oh. They're deadly. They got some range to them. Okay. Oh boy. bad. There is one here that I didn't know about, but if you want an easy one, there was one. Oh. Nice. Of course it would be that simple, right? And it probably would have changed the tide of that battle. <laughs> but you know, sometimes, Strufty, I just like the struggle. And no matter how much you might see me kind of complain or get frustrated, man, that uh, dopamine rush that you get afterward from that much struggle is just unparalleled. <laughs> Stoke Top, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing? Uh, we got a big boss tonight, and we got another smaller boss, so we made some good, good progress tonight. And I'm hoping maybe we can just, uh, you know, find one other small boss to do, or maybe a big one. I have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely. How are you doing? Uh, I know last time we talked, you were doing some randomizer stuff with uh, Super Metroid. Are you still working on the, the randomizer stuff? The ball is what had the stone. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so maybe I can find like a side of grace soon. Would be super helpful. So there's a smithing stone five, but we need a somber one. And I don't think those things come back, do they? It's weird that they didn't have, like, some type of side of grace at the entrance of this. Still somewhat lost with Super Metroid, but I'm having fun with the game. Hey. That's what counts. Having fun is uh, the paramount. And then the struggle after that is, you know, 
part of the fun, right? Um, you can absolutely do that. Stove top. Oh boy, arrows. <laughs> Is the thing? Oh, more arrows. Oh, is that frost? I think a second hit would have caused me to fall in, so I'm glad I waited there. That is absolutely amazing. Um, I love when communities kind of come together like that, and uh, you get. Uh, Probably, I mean, if that's something you do quite a bit, you know, with uh, speed running, it's probably like somebody you also probably watch and look up to or, you know, so that's really cool. And then to have it be that big a raid, that is amazing. That is amazing. GG's. Can we get some GG's for Stovetop and also Prince Leo? Good to see you, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oats and goats. Really cool guy. Yeah. That is just cool when that kind of stuff can happen. And he's the world record holder in any percent. That's absolutely awesome. <laughs> that is so heckin' cool. Yeah, thank you for sharing the, the news on that. Top five for speedrunning? Oh my lord. That is really cool. Oh, stop it with your shield, dude. We are by a side of grace, so that's fine. Oh, this place is cool. And I like that the Nakron name is not just like a name only, that they're kind of like undead creatures here. So it is kind of like, uh, you know, place of the dead. Also filling out my papers to request time off for Distant Worlds. Um, when is that, Prince Leo? Uh, I'm so excited for you. I'm very, very excited for you. Uh, Distant Worlds is such a wonderful experience that uh, I would say even if you're not a fan of Final Fantasy outright, that it's definitely something you should take in because the music is amazing and uh, an orchestra show of any sort is just so rewarding to go to. Because I've been to lots of metal shows and rock concerts and they're great and everything, but there's something about an orchestra show that just fills your entire being. Um, because of the amount of instruments and everything in one room, it's just unparalleled. <laughs> it's in March, so hopefully we'll grab our tickets soon. Very nice. And thank you for the resub, dude. 15 whole months. I can't believe it's been that long that we've known each other. Uh, I'm just going to catch up on chat here just a little bit. Oats picked up the any percent recently, uh, 40 minutes, 36 seconds, beating Zost's previous record. Okay. Um, just getting ready to go home. Got 30 minutes left. You're right at the end of shift, dude. Uh, Oats sweeps most categories, though, missing 100%. Um, what is RBO? If I might ask, I'm not sure on that one. Okay, that's back where I came from. Oh, reverse boss order. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if I've heard of like that reverse boss order thing. That would be uh, really interesting to do. guy over here. Oh no, he doesn't have arrows. That guy does. <laughs> I 
I love the reach of this sword. Absolutely love the reach of this thing. Ridley first, and then taking heat damage. Oh, man, that is rough. But do you start with, like, higher health and, like, all the, uh, like, weapons you need, too? Down to the subpixel. That's insane. That's absolutely crazy. No energy tanks? Oh. Bonkers. Th that's blowing my mind that people can do that. Oh boy, raiding party here. I love how this sword is a crowd clearing sword. The reach is just wonderful and the stagger. Rock and metal music is good, but yeah, you have to be in the right mood for it. Orchestras can listen to it at any point of the day. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that would be rough to fight Ridley like that. I don't know if I would be able to do that. I love Super Metroid, but I am not good at it. <laughs> and I really, really enjoyed um, Metroid Dread. It scratched that like right nostalgia itch for the game, but with enough new and different that it was uh, quite excellent. I haven't really played the uh, like the Prime games. So I can't really say anything about that. I should pick up the uh, that remaster soon and play that. So every once in a while on holiday break, I uh, find myself with some downtime while, while family is working or something. And... Uh, Sometimes I'll have time to play. Or if I end up in quarantine again, like I did the one year. <laughs> I played through all the uh, 3D Mario games on the 3D All-Stars pack. I uh, played through Mario 64 um, and then did my first playthroughs of uh, Sunshine and uh, Galaxy, which was a lot of fun. The primary master is good. There's a hack that lets you play Prime 1 and 2 with mouse and keyboard. Uh, if it lets me play it with the controller, I would love that. Because I am... Oh, here's a boss. All right. Because I am garbage at uh, mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I do it when absolutely necessary, but I am too much of a console gamer. Give me my DualShock esque controller, and I'm good to go. I don't like uh, that guy back there. Oh, he's got a big old whip. Oh, nope. Okay. to maybe not see any more of those on the way down to the old uh, boss arena. There's no way it's going to be that easy, is it? I could see that if you played it enough times. Uh, all right. Should we get a prediction going? This is definitely a boss. I have no idea what it is. So let's throw up a channel point prediction here. I 
What is up with... The, oh, there we go. Streamer bot's on a bit of a delay tonight. Uh, feel free to throw in some channel points on the prediction here. I'm going to be stepping into this boss arena in just a couple minutes. Uh, if you think I'll get on first try, do first try. Uh, 2 through 5, 6 to 10, or 11 plus are options. And uh, yeah, we'll give you some puppies while we wait this one out. Charlie is just like glued to my feet tonight. Um, it's fairly nearby, Stoke Town. Uh, it's a short run. Charlie, you gonna say hello to people? Huh? You gonna go lay in your cloud? You gonna go lay in your cloud, puppy dog? <laughs> Just a little lively jaunt, yeah. Oh goodness, Roxy. Yeah, you better hide your face. You don't want to see this boss battle. You don't want to see this boss battle. You know, the amount of points on the two through five makes me feel good. It really does. Uh, do you know who this is without uh, divulging the name of the boss? Oh, Lucy. <laughs> Got about a minute left on the prediction if you want to get some channel points in. I'm so excited for you, Prince Leo, to go to uh, Distant Worlds. Because I went to Final Fantasy VII Remake Orchestra and the uh, uh, 35th anniversary uh, Final Fantasy uh, Distant Worlds. And both of them were absolutely amazing experiences in different cities. Uh, with each their own like cool things we did before and after and things like that. So I'm hoping the next time I go uh, to Distant Worlds or something like it, it's in a different city. Because I, I like you know having those new experiences, which is paramount traveling is a great way to uh become a, a more well-rounded individual seeing the world <laughs> and let's see if we can see the end of this boss Interesting. Oh, this is me. Oh boy. Using my moves against me. I forgot about that move. Heal too, huh? Nice. Get the bleed damage too. Nope. Oh, he's empty. Easy peasy. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get a mask from it too. Neato. That was a cool boss. Mimic boss. <laughs> that is three in one night. I uh, might be able to rest my head on that. <laughs> uh, we don't have enough to level up. We do have some uh, runes, though. Let's take a peek at those. Um, yeah, let's use a couple of those. See where that gets us. 5,000? Was that enough? Uh, not quite. Let's just use one more. Else. We should be good. Hey, enjoy your lurk. Um, sorry to take your points from you. <laughs> sorry to take your points from you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
what was I trying to take care of? The channel point prediction. We got that one on the first try. Sorry about your points there, Stovetop. <laughs> and enjoy your lurk. It is always good to see you. And uh, awesome news uh, regarding your stream and the uh, awesome raid that you got. That is so cool. I'm so happy for you. Uh, yeah, nobody thought this would happen, Twitch. I agree. But we got a boss on the first try. It was pretty nice. And we're going to throw some into the decks again. Getting nice and close to... Uh, Oh, I can actually ride Torrent here. That's cool. Yeah, 500 person raid is just massive. I think the most I've had is in the 100, like between 100 and 200. And even then I was just very, uh... oh, Charlie, are you okay? Oh, do you not believe me on that, Charlie? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Or the one Shadow raid, I think, was larger than that. I think the one raid from uh, Shadow was uh, over 200. And I was on a BRB. <laughs> but it, it is so crazy to get big raids like that. I think our friend Sandy Coco... Oh, there's our somber smithing stone. That was the one we needed. Uh, Strufty, if you're still hanging about. I know it's super late for you, dude. Um, this is just absolutely stunning. This is so beautiful. And this is underground, too. <laughs> but getting big raids like that is just... You never know how to handle it, right? It, it can be very, very overwhelming. Let's not do that way. All right, let's see what's up here first. It's probably just a dead end. And also that too, like if you know the person, it's somebody that you've like watched their streams or watched their playthroughs and things like that. That's, uh, you know, a big, big thing. It is so cool. Hey, Mafia Breadsticks, welcome in. Welcome in. I am having fun. I am absolutely having fun. Hopefully you're having a good Monday, if it's still Monday for you. Otherwise, if you're ahead of us in time zone and it's Tuesday, hopefully your day's off to a wonderful start. Yeah, it's a great game so far. Um... And I was surprised, uh, honestly, that we got Radon tonight because that uh, that fight was ridiculous. Oh, this is another one of these things. Okay, we did this uh, at the other uh, Shifra um, area. I think we're better equipped to handle these guys now, though. Oh boy. Let's heal. Um, yes, I have played the other Souls games. Uh, I started with uh, Demon Souls Remake in January of 22. And then I played Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and then Bloodborne. And now I'm on Elden Ring. And I did do a soul level one run of Dark Souls 1 um, as my second playthrough of Dark Souls. That's kind of my experience with the series. So I am imposing on myself a little bit of a challenge on my first playthrough, meaning I can't uh, summon. And I have to do all bosses. my my limitation on myself for uh, first playthroughs on this. Is it normal to be a little nervous? Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. 
if you're a longtime fan of theirs, it's it's uh, even cooler, but also very intimidating too. Oh boy! Oh no, she's got a baby. This I feel bad about this. No, she's using her baby to hurt us. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Oh boy, that hurts. There we go. No, I didn't want to sit. I <laughs> uh, just need to play Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls, and I'm down with the series. I don't have a PlayStation, so no Bloodborne, even though I... I think aesthetically, uh, Bloodborne is the coolest. It kind of ticks all the boxes uh, for me. But I, I hope you get access to that soon. I hope they get a PC port out at, at some point. I don't think it needs a remaster. I just think it needs a PC port so our, uh, it's more accessible for others. I think it's had its moment of exclusivity, you know? Uh, you actually just beat Dark Souls 1 like 10 minutes ago. Okay. So you did... Uh, so I take it you've done Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3? Um, uh, what kind of build did you do on, uh, on Dark Souls 1? And then also, uh, what was your first boss after... Um, what am I trying to say here? Your first boss after uh, Ornstein and Smo. And, uh, Jay, this armor is... I have the Banished Knight Helm, the Godric Knight Armor, the uh, Landell Knight Gauntlets, and the uh, Kaku Knight Greaves. Yeah, Bloodborne was awesome. The, uh... Oh, nope. Yeah, that's Danger City right there. Nice. Strength mixed with dexterity, but I usually fall towards strength. Um, I loved uh, strength build in Dark Souls 2. Uh, very, very viable in that game, in case you're curious. And thanks. Yeah, I'm not total fashion souls in this one yet, but, uh, you know, this one worked well against Radon, so we're just going to hang on to it for a bit. <laughs> oh, because I said it was my jam. <laughs> I like the puns. We're big fans of puns around here. Oh, let's just get out of there. I don't like that guy with the arrows. He's sniping me from back there. Tree Sentinel armor, very nice. Oh, oh we stunned him. There we go. too heavy for your character yeah that's the problem with fashion souls unfortunately and these guys are like minotaurs aren't they all right so i lit two of those oh so there must be another ancestor uh ancestral beast here cool I'm down with that. We could do at least one more of those tonight, I think. At least a, a couple of attempts, unless it's too difficult. 120 hours? I believe that. <laughs> very, very much believe that. We got to 
arrow arrow boy back there. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're definitely rage heavy games. Alright, that's the strat for these things. Oh, yep, we gotta wear the horns. We gotta wear the horns. Yeah, I'm gonna swap that out as soon as we get a chance to do it safely. Oh no, don't break the glass table. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't break the glass table. Um, yeah, this helm is cool with the dragon on it and everything, but uh, we just got some new... Uh, a new look. Oh man, that's cool. I dig that. Alt, it is good to see you. Welcome in. <laughs> Very excellent to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy, I think, Tuesday for your time zone. Uh, lots of wolves here. Not a fan of that. Notice these rats. Okay. Uh, we're not doing good on flasks here. See, I really want to play that game, but I think I'm gonna have to like take a break after Elden Ring, like from like big heavy games, because. Isn't that another one that's just pretty long game? Uh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima. See, that one, without the uh, FP, that thing does not stun as well. Hey, thanks for the new follow. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. Um, come on. There we go. Open world game, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to take a break from open world games uh, <laughs> after this one. Oh no! Ouch! Get out of that! Okay. Just need one more big hit on this one. There we are. A recharge on our flask as well. Light this guy up. Light him up, up, up. Light him up, up. Hey, I appreciate that, Mafia. Uh, do you prefer Mafia or Breadsticks? Or if you have uh, preferred nicknames, definitely uh, let me know. Feel free to throw that in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome around here. They're just overwhelming, and especially like. Uh, the way I play games with just one night a week for uh, each game, it just, uh, it's daunting and it's tough to remember where you're at or where you're going and, and things like that. Ooh, nice. No, I want the red one. The blue one can get lost. I want the red one. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. And we needed some more flask. Ooh. Uh, this is like the Red Wolf of uh, Radigan, which is not fun. And now it's just a uh, normal enemy down here. Uh, 
this is a pain. <laughs> Was a big miss. Oof. Oof. Tough to uh, find a moment to hit him. Oh, nope. Heal, heal, heal. had this weapon when I faced him before. Should have waited. Oof. Nope. We're close. We're close. Yeah, there he is. Nope. Lock on, please. There we go. <laughs> Might have wanted to focus on quantity over quality, unlike the other Souls games where it was quality. Oh, okay. Yeah. Small areas with many details. Yep. But I think they packed a lot of details into this for it being such a big open world game. Too, so... Uh, Dark Souls 2, um, I enjoyed it. It's very divisive amongst a lot of uh, Souls fans, but I enjoyed it too. Um, it is probably the most deaths I've had in one of these games so far at 600. I don't know if I've crossed the 600 mark on this yet or not. I can't remember. Uh, those wolves are after me, and I'm not much a fan of that. Did I light that one already? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. But how many do we have left? Got one left, huh? Definitely need to find that. And then, oh, there it is. It's back here. Very nice. The worst boss run, there are some really bad ones. Um, like some really bad ones in, uh, what am I saying? In Demon Souls. Like some really, really painful ones. I'm just gonna go back to the old, uh, I don't want to do this with half health and no flasks. <laughs> but uh, we'll throw a prediction up for this next boss here. If you want to throw in some channel points. Uh, first try, 2 through 5, 6 to 10, or 11 plus. Feel free to throw in on that one. So there's some really bad ones in that. There's some bad ones in uh, Dark Souls 1. Like the uh, Four Kings is really awful. I hate that one. And when I was doing Soul Level 1, it was even worse. Because <laughs> I did a Soul Level 1 run, but it was guided by chat GPT. So I had to ask the AI bot where to go. And it sent me to the Four Kings after uh, Anne Orlando. And so I had to uh, do that without the right of kindling from Pinwheel. And so doing that with only 10 Estus was quite awful. At least I had Havel's armor set, which helped, but 
It's a mid fight depending on your stats and when you do it. <laughs> yeah, if you got some really good DPS, then it's not terrible. But if you're limited to uh, soul level one territory, it can be tough. It can be really tough. Oh, Audio is doing some weird stuff uh, on this game tonight. The channel point prediction is still open if you want to throw in some channel points on that. It is open for about another minute here. Oh, they decided to follow, so I'm just going to yeah, nope with that. <laughs> I think that was kind of the cool thing about it, though, with the Abyss. Um, but the boss run is bad. I'm trying to think of the other boss runs in that that are bad. The Nito boss run is also very awful. Like, those two are probably some of my least favorite in the entire game. Regal Ancestor Spirit. We've done one of the Ancestor Spirits before, but we haven't done this one. Thinking this is probably pretty similar. Hopefully I can pull it off in one try, because that's what I did on the other one. But he's a little tankier. What in the world? Oh, this one's a little more interesting. Melly, welcome in. Good to see you. We've gotten three bosses so far tonight. We got uh, Radon and uh, the Mimic Terror. And I forget who else we've gotten. Radon, Mimic Terror... There was one other one. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, a big dragon. That's right. That's right. All right. One, two, and... Oh, nope. Missed him there. Oh boy. Yeah. Here I was hoping we could maybe do this hit list, but uh, he's got some new moves. See, that vomit doesn't bother me too bad. It's the uh, that big AOE attack was. I love the, the theme of this, though. The music during this boss is just some of the best music in this entire series. Yep, that one gets me every time. <laughs> Ooh, boy, one HP in a dream here. Yeah, this one's harder than the last one. Oh, he healed himself. Oh, Nice. Wow. Okay. I see you, Ancestor Spirit. I was uh, way too uh, comfortable with this battle. Here I was, thinking it was just going to be a nice, simple little thing. You know, just like the first one. No, this is cool. Oh, come on. I dodged that. I know I did. Yeah, I'm 
I'm not going to get baited into that one again. Oh, and then I got baited into it again. <laughs> This fight is so beautiful though. I love this fight. Too soon? Far too soon? Usually that third one is when it does the big charge up. Okay. Stay calm, Wooly. Starting to feel like the first time I fought one of these. Where I did garbage through the first bit of it and then used basically one flask to uh, <laughs> do the rest. Slam? Okay. You'd be a lot more patient with that one. a beautiful fight, but now it's getting frustrating. One, two, and... Oh, nope. Oh, it's healing itself again. That's wonderful. If we're gonna get this on first try or not. One HP in a dream territory. Oh, 
boy. Nope. Get your spirit spit away from me, please. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> well, we didn't get it on first try. That's all right. That's all right. I got faith we can do it on at least two or three. If we can get this before bed, that's four bosses tonight. That'll be amazing. Nocron is cool. <laughs> I've loved uh, this bit of experience. Uh, so it was very worth uh, playing after Radon. Radon is just awful. Took me 16 attempts to get Radon. And I did it pretty much entirely horseback too. is just rough and there are so many times where I was just getting one-shotted into that. AOE hurts too. We are on second attempt, even though I didn't put my attempt counter up. So. Yeah, I like the uh, extra complexity they uh, added to this fight over the first one. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Mel. Yeah, adding to it was a, a nice, uh, nice feature there. Oh, that's stupid. I know it does that. We're starting to play like we know a thing or two. Oh, it's too quick. 
through it eventually. <laughs> oh, and this is where... He, oh, he's still doing that one. I thought he was going to start doing his roly-polies. Spitting usually. All right. Down on flasks, so got to make it count. I never go backwards on that. Why did I go backwards that time? Eat this. This is harder than I thought, which is actually good. <laughs> oh, no. It was good until that. Until that nonsense. So tough. Oh, come on. <laughs> I need to hit it. I think we got it. One more try. Yeah. Yeah. So what we need to do... I need to do my boss, uh, Regal, Ancestral Spirit, I think is the name. And then we need to do a boss plus because we're on attempt number three. There we are. There we are. Now we're all caught up. Ancestor, not ancestral. That's okay. Close enough. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I definitely will need it. Better pick up those runes. Oh boy. Ooh, that was close.
tough to get that uh, large hit on him. I've learned all these things from the last two attempts and just promptly ignore them. that one time where I was able to hit it and then uh, dive through. Not anymore. Wow, oh, dude, really? All right. It awakes. It awakens. It spits. like it's done doing the glow thing on that uh, that combo.
good spot there for a second. boss, but some very frustrating things about it. time about time here we are remembrance of the regal ancestor three attempts not too bad not pretty attempts by any means <laughs> so let's get our win in and also close out that channel point prediction at two through five. Sorry, Melly. Anybody else that uh, had faith? <laughs> there was another one of these further down, though. And why is this glowing still? Oh, I suppose we can still just go to the where the remains are at. Let's blaze past these. I'm curious if that other one that was just sitting down there. Glowing. No, just bones. All right. Well, I think we've explored pretty much all we need to get down here, I think. Smack those guys for good measure. <laughs> hey, that's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. DJ Anime, how is your stream? How are you doing? Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday if you're ahead of me in time zone, by the way. Uh, welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. I'm just going to get to a nice little safe spot so I can greet you all. <laughs> you can definitely take refuge here, uh, Dream Eaters. As long as you stay away from my dreams. You can eat other dreams, um, but please leave mine if that's okay. <laughs> Welcome on in. You were playing some Yakuza Kiwami 2. I don't know if I've ever heard of that one. <laughs> Had a weird notion of a sleep requirement. Okay. Well, I kind of have one of those too. <laughs> and I was uh, just getting ready to uh, to finish my stream. So um, you don't mind, you know, following on a raid train. You know, we could uh, we could definitely get you somewhere where somebody's going to be awake for a while. <laughs> After midnight there? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you need a raid and run, I totally, totally understand uh, to get that post-stream self-care need, including sleep, hydration, you name it. Please, please take care of yourself. I'm not kicking you out. You can stay as long as you wish, but uh, I, I totally understand. <laughs> and Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs before... Roxy's a Jack Russell on the right. She's 14. Lucy's a Shih Tzu on the left. She's five. And just barely in the frame there for a second was Charlie. And Charlie's our uh, newest addition. He's a seven-year-old Pomeranian mix. And all of them uh, infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people hang out for them. Uh, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are truly just side content compared to the puppies. Hey, there's Charlie. <laughs> there's the little boy. Oh, big stretch, dude. That was a big stretch. 
which became just a, a lay down. <laughs> yeah, he usually likes to sit in his cloud, but uh, he's been glued to my feet all night. Glued to my feet. <laughs> Welcome on in, Raiders. Hopefully you're doing well. And uh, if you have preferred name, uh, nicknames, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. And uh, we are unfortunately at the end of our uh, evening as well. Um, so I will be finding a raid target here. So if you want to hang out for the raid, you're definitely more than welcome to do that. But if you need a raid and run, totally, totally understand. Uh, our little boy, Papu, which was named after one of our dogs that passed away in 2020. And I'll show you a picture of him. So he's the namesake of our character in this uh, playthrough. And he's at level 68, just about to that noise level. And we're at the Nakron Eternal City at 48 hours into the game. And I know, I know, but uh, it is super late for me too. We'll, we'll find proper refuge for you, uh, Dream Eaters, I promise. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll find somebody uh, that we can properly uh, raid over that's going to be streaming for a while. How's that sound? <laughs> Because I need just a, you know, that sleep thing. That the people keep talking about it. I hear it's really nice. So I'm going to I'm gonna see about giving it a go. <laughs> but we'll give you some puppies while we, uh, while we find somebody to raid out to. And uh, DJ, thank you very, very much for the raid. That is very, very appreciated. Uh, who is online? Let's see. Uh, KP is playing Final Fantasy fourteen. No, that's not KP. KP is playing Paper Mario. Uh, Red Gangster is playing some Spider-Man 2. I might have to avoid there due to spoilers. But again, thank you very, very much again for the raid. That is too kind to share your share your friends with us tonight. Who else is on? Masa Masa uh, sixty four is playing Final Fantasy nine. Uh, they typically do speed runs over there. Jose streaming, but I know Jose uh, probably would be ending soon. Uh, oh, there's a member of uh, the stream team. The Treppies uh, is doing some Bloodborne. Let me uh, pull up their stream and see uh, how much longer they're going to be on. Uh, also, I just need to check an audio setting here okay i think we're good just want to make sure that i don't have uh their stream coming through <laughs> uh oh, it looks like they've been on for four hours um but i rarely get a chance to raid them so we're gonna we're gonna give it a gamble if they don't stay up too late i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry dream eaters but i'm sure they'll raid out someplace where you can uh, eat some dreams i promise <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to give them a shout out as well so you know where we're heading in case you get lost in the uh, the old raid. Because that's been happening quite a bit here on Twitch. And this week I typically stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Monday and Wednesday here on Twitch at 7 p.m. Central Time. And Friday bright and early on YouTube at 4.30 a.m. Central. However, um, this week, uh, it is my partner's birthday on Wednesday, so we'll be streaming tomorrow night instead of Wednesday. So we'll be doing uh, more Wind Waker tomorrow night. And I think, judging by the way Roxy's pacing, it's probably time, probably time to go to bed. So we're gonna kick off this raid over to Casey. Please enjoy your time over there. I believe it's a first playthrough um, for the game, so please avoid spoilers or uh, just be uh, cautious or ask if you're uh, at all curious. And uh, with that being said, 
uh take care of yourselves everybody okay um get hydrated get plenty of rest um don't stay up too late playing elden ring or do because it's awesome <laughs> take care of each other a little brightness goes a long long way uh this time of year and just a big cheers we'll see you tomorrow night with some more um uh wind waker and uh, more elden ring next week uh, please, please take care. Big cheers. Good night, everybody. Grab a raid message on the way out the door. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And thanks for being here, Panda.